Hi, I'm Henry Segerman. This is non-Euclidean virtual reality using ray marching. So I'm in a virtual space full of cubes, uh, just like the world in Minecraft is made out of cubes. But unlike the flat Euclidean world of Minecraft, this is a negatively curved space. So to illustrate this negative curvature, I'm going to walk around this uh, pillar to my left. And to get our bearings, um, this cube that I'm starting in has this sphere down here and there's the red light ahead of me, and there's a blue light to my right. So, uh, so let's get going. So this world is curved, um, a little bit like how uh, space is curved near a black hole. Light rays travel along strange curved paths and so on. And so there's gonna be a mismatch between where I end up in the real world and where I end up in the virtual world. So I'm now back where I started in the real world but you can see that where I started in the virtual world is one cube further in. There's the sphere and there's the red light there. So rather than walking around the sides of a square to get back to where I started, I have to walk around the sides of a right-angled pentagon. We made this simulation using a technique called ray marching. The first idea here is that the objects in the space are described by something called a sign distance function. For each point in space, the sign distance function tells us how far away from the objects we are. So for example, if I've got a sphere radius r and I am a distance d away from the center of the sphere, then the sine distance function returns d minus r, which is how far we are away from the surface of the sphere. For each pixel on the screen, we cast a ray from a virtual camera out into the world to see what object it hits and therefore what color the pixel should be. We start at the virtual camera and we ask the sign distance function how far away from the objects in the world are we, and it tells us we are this far away from any object in the world, which means we can safely march along the ray to this point. We then repeat until the sign distance function says that we're moving only a very small distance, and then we stop and decide what color it should be based on where we ended up. Ray marching was developed to draw graphics in Euclidean space we generalized it to negatively curved space. But all you need for any kind of geometry are first, a way to write down points in the space, second, sign distance functions for the objects in the world, and third, a way to move a given distance along a ray. In the future, we plan to make simulations of even weirder geometries. We are also hoping to integrate our visualization work into software used by other researchers. If you want to try this out for yourself, here's the link. The code is also available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.